Миро, Жез Григорьев. Не говори мне о еде, я не интересен в мушрумах. Now, listen. I shall be delayed by matters of state, matters of great urgency and importance. I uh, shall be delayed for several hours. No, you may not know the reason. Goodbye. Thank you, Councillor. You were describing how you were approached by Moscow Centre. Kindly continue with your narrative. Well, Grigoriev, they tell me, you come with us, we need you. In Moscow, when they say that to you, you do not say a call tomorrow, you go. And you went? We drive all night. Then, big gates, soldiers. I ask my escort, is this a camp? What if I done wrong? You're taking me to a camp. They tell me to shut up. We climb a hill. On the hill, a small dasha, a few lights, no luxuries. Who is a strange baron, I ask myself, who can live in a hut and look at the whole world without wishing to possess it? Give me a cigarette. And inside this man, not a baron, a priest, with a deep quiet in him, behind the desk, like you. Grigoriev, I am a high official of state security. I am also a man like you. Sit down. I sit down. Like now. The room. Baron has a prison cell. A high official and needs so little. A man clearly of deep experience. I see it in his face. You meet few men like that. Smoking. Smoking what? Please? What did he smoke? The question's plain enough. A pipe, cigarette, cigar. Ah, uh, cigarette, American. Oh, the, the room was full of their aroma. Imagine the influence of such a man to chain smoke American cigarettes in Russia. And he gave you no name? No. Describe the first topic of your conversation with this man. <laughs> uh, women. He knew everything about my little Evdokia, my plans to love her that weekend, about typists, wives of certain comrades, a ballerina in Leningrad. He disposed of all this information in the most disturbing details. Grigoriev, you have no secret from me. I see into your very heart. But never mind. Now you will be my ally my soldier, my friend, and I will reward you. 